take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in that feeling of calm relaxation. And as you exhale, give permission to let go of any tension, any stress, any worries. Incrementally, they don't all have to go in one single breath. But as you breathe in that feeling of resourcefulness, just allow anything that is no longer serving you to detach. And maybe you can think of things that detach. Blossom from trees in spring. Perhaps, perhaps you could imagine certain things floating and falling at any level, particles, energy, but in your case, feelings, as you breathe in that feeling of relaxation and resourcefulness, scan your body for any feelings that can detach. Perhaps you've been harsh on yourself for too long. So detach any feelings of shame. Detach any feelings of insufficiency, inadequacy. Allow them to detach and feel that energy leaving your body in that outward breath. When you breathe in, breathe in deeper. And as you exhale, exhale for longer. And I wonder what else you've been holding on to for too long. I think there was a time that you added one and one together and came up with three. That your worthiness was in some way linked to your accomplishments. That in order to be worthy, you had to achieve or be. And for a while, that gave you so much back. Your motivation, your drive, a willingness to solve complex problems. But maybe it came from a place of insecurity, that sword of Damocles hovering over your head, then at any point it could all be taken away. That if you fail, if you don't maintain high standards, you're a failure, a loser, you're worthless. And imagine the energy required to maintain impossibly high standards. Imagine the energy required to be so vigilant at anything that could chink that armor to give you evidence that you're not as worthy as you thought. It requires cognitive attention to keep two or three plates spinning. But what if you've been spinning an impossibly high number of plates and it requires physical, intellectual and emotional energy to keep those plates spinning? And I want you to imagine those spinning plates. Let's call them the spinning plates of worthiness. Just imagine how much energy it would require to keep more than 20 plates spinning all the time. And if one drops, you're a loser, a failure, worthless. 
want you to get a sense then becomes a full-time job just to keep those plates spinning. But under those spinning plates is a wonderful intention. The intention to be good and do good, to add value to the world, to learn, to grow, to progress. And I wonder if your unconscious mind would be willing to consider a scenario where you get to have your cake and eat it. To have all the motivation, discipline and dedication to be the best that you can be without this exhausting game of keeping plates spinning just to feel worthy. And if your unconscious mind is willing to go back and realize that one plus one always equal two. Let me know by nodding your head. I want you to equate any kind of high standards or accomplishment with growth and satisfaction. And therefore, isn't it true that you could still have the same level of motivation to be your best physically, financially, in your family, friendships, relationships, in your career, but from a place of growth, the excitement you get from accomplishing something new, without it being equated to your worthiness or how valuable you are. If your unconscious mind accepts, then you could be perhaps even more motivated than before because all of that energy that's been deployed to keep you in a state of artificial worthiness could then be used to accomplish even more, but from a place of growth, satisfaction, and accomplishment, not because it's necessary for you to be valid or worthy. And if you're unconscious, accepts that that's true, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to think of what it used to be for you to be considered worthy. And many people with low self-worth have equated impossibly high standards to their worthiness because they also added one plus one and got to three. They thought that if they had high standards attached to being worthy, it would motivate them even more to be the best that they can be. But instead, they voluntarily started playing an unwinnable game. As you create the infinity sign in your mind's eye, at number eight on its side, perhaps glowing, as you realize that if the game is unwinnable, it would take infinity to ever meet that criteria. That you would die long before an impossible game is ever won. And if it feels that now is the time to decide to play a different game, a winnable game, a game that you feel worthy every day, a game where you grow, achieve and accomplish because you want to, not through fear or insecurities, just from a place 
of wanting to, then it would break that crazy eight and instead make every day winnable. Because success would be linked to progress, breakthroughs, one new thing you've learned. Everything would make you feel good and none of it would be needed to make you feel worthy. And if that new game feels not just winnable but more desirable and you could have fun playing it, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine someone that you love unconditionally. Imagine that person, perhaps in some courtroom, and imagine, imagine you are the defense and the prosecution is saying that person you love unconditionally is not worthy of your love. Maybe they come up with something random that they forgot to do something. They didn't achieve something in their school or workplace. And that because of that, they were not worthy of your love. I want you to notice the harder that they try to prove that this person is not worthy of your love the more it creates a sensation, a feeling that they are always worthy. And if that applies to that person, allow it to apply to you. That no matter what happens, you are worthy. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to think of a shape, a hot spot in a location in your mind that used to represent inadequacy, unworthiness, the sense of failure or being a loser, and the more visceral and detailed you could imagine that shape in that location, the better, because this may be the very last time it exists in its current form. Maybe you can notice the shape, the density, the colors, if it has a border, if it moves, Maybe it has a random, chaotic energy of movement. And when you can feel it being activated, this may be the very last time you feel unworthy based on unwinnable criteria. In which case, experience it. Experience that unworthiness. The feeling of not being enough. The feeling that somehow you've done something wrong. And the more you can bring up that feeling, the more likely it will be it's the very last time you feel it in this way. And when that shape is there, moving in that way, colored in that way, feeling that sensation, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to imagine shrinking it down to the size of an electron. But when it returns, it returns different. It is now replaced with an innate worthiness. You are worthy perhaps just because you exist just because you have good intentions. 
It exists because you are enough and have always been. And when you hold that thought in mind, the electron grows back with a different shape, with a different movement, different colors glowing in a different way. As you feel a wonderful feeling of being enough, of being worthy, and notice how it doesn't take any of your motivation away. Your motivation still exists, but the worthiness is there as a default. You have so many beliefs that are just defaults. You believe that your name is your name. You believe that your core part of you is you and always will be. And allow worthiness to become part of that core identity. Whether you succeed or fail in business, you're worthy. Whether you're healthy or sick, you're worthy. That your self-worth is now innate. And if you can feel that shape has changed, and there is now an idea that you accept yourself 100%, that you are good enough, that you are worthy, let me know by nodding your head. And allow that to be similar to a spring on a mountain. The spring is just the source. The streams and rivers that flow from it go way beyond the initial source. Feel that this new shape in that location is a spring of infinite worthiness. Feel it flowing to every cell in your body. And I want you to imagine, with that feeling and that location, that feeling of worthiness, being in a situation that before made you feel awkward or pull back. But now with this feeling, I want you to feel that if exactly the same thing was to happen, it generates different emotional responses. Attention, curiosity, connection, no awkwardness. You are rock solid, self-assured in yourself. All of those historical feelings of shame or inadequacy are shedding, shedding like old, dry, dead skin. They're your past, not your present, and feel now as you go into the future. Think of a situation of paying someone that you care about a well thought out compliment that would make them feel wonderful but coming from a place of complete self-acceptance worthiness subtle things like your facial expression your tonality is different warmer more genuine and if you feel that new doorways are opening to new possibilities to enable you to grow in new ways with more energy, more vitality a version of you that likes yourself respects yourself but also believes that you can work on yourself to become even better let me know by nodding your head that's it and now try and create that image of that infinity sign and notice 
notice it's not there. The infinity sign that represents an unwinnable game now gives you a different feeling that may jump back to that new shape in your mind where worthiness is just the default. And winning now means any incremental progress. And sometimes the biggest progress you make comes from the biggest failures and setbacks. But it's still a win. Any reflections, insights, breakthroughs are all progress. When you try out different things and get different results, that's progress. As you start to wonder just how much progress is possible in all parts of your life, now that you feel that worthiness is just as static as your ability to breathe. In fact, you might believe that if you can breathe, then you are worthy. So that every time you feel any inadequacy, take a deep breath in and remind yourself that you are worthy. It's time to return to the present moment. Not as you were, but as you are. Someone of worthiness, of enough, someone that lives life on your terms, that moves forward and progresses, not because you have to, but because you want to, as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, connect fully into the present moment. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, confident, brimming with worthiness. Starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6, more alert. 7, 8, open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 